everyone, this is Yekalina here. In this video, we are going to solve a problem from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem solve d square minus 6d plus 9 into y equals 3 for 3x solution. Given differential equation. d square minus 6d plus 9 into y equals 3 power 3x which is in operator form f of d into y equals to q where f of d equals to d square minus 6d plus 9 and q equals 3 power 3x. So now let's find order and degree of the given equation. So we can write the given equation as d squared y minus 6 dy plus 9y equals 3 power 3x. We know that we can write the differential operator d as d by dx. Then we can write d squared y as d square y by dx square minus 6 dy by dx plus 9y equals to e power 3x. Now identify the highest derivative. Here d square y by dx square is our highest derivative. So our order will be 2. And the highest power of the highest derivative is our degree. So here degree is 1. Now again coming to the problem. So now we need to find the solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Where well, yc is a complementary function obtained from homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation using auxiliary equation f of m equals to 0. And yp is given by 1 by f of t into q. So firstly, we'll find complementary function using auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation of the given equation. The auxiliary equation of f of t into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0, where f of m equals to replace, we are having f of d equals to d squared minus 6d plus 9, right? Replace differential operator d by m, then you will get f of m equals to m squared minus 6m plus 9. Then the auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 6m plus 9 equals to 0. We can write this as m square minus, you can write 2, 6 as 2 into m into 3 plus this 9 as 3 square, which is an a square minus 2ab plus b square form, that is a minus b whole square form. We will get m minus 3 whole square equals to 0 or m minus 3 into m minus 3 equals to 0. Repeated factors, right? Equate each factor to 0, then you'll get m minus 3 equals to 0. From this, we'll get m equals to 3. Then m equals to 3 and 3 are the roots to this equation, right? Or you can find the roots of this equation by factorizing this polynomial. Okay, you can factorize this polynomial to find the roots. m square, split this minus 6m as minus 3m minus 3m plus 9 equals to 0. Take m common from the first two terms, you'll get m times m minus 3. And take minus 3 common from the next two terms, you'll get minus 3 times m minus 3. 
equals to 0 if you notice we are having m minus 3 in both the terms so let's take m minus 3 form and you'll get m minus 3 into m minus 3 equals to 0 equate each factor to 0 you'll get m equals to 3 3 okay fine so you got roots therefore m equals to 3 3 are the roots of f of m equals to 0, right? That is our auxiliary equation, which are real and equal repeated roots, which are real, right? We know that when two roots are equal, say m1 equals to m2 equals to some m, Then, you can write complementary function as c1 plus c2x into e power mx, right? Then what will be the complementary function to this problem? Complementary function is yc equals to c1 plus c2x into e power equal roots. 3 into x, therefore yc equals to c1 plus c2x into e power 3x. Now let's find particular integral. We know that yp is given by 1 by f of t into q which is equal to 1 by 4 f of t t square minus 6 t plus 9 into q e power 3x. So here we are having f of d into e power ax form where a is a real number. We have f of d equals to d square minus 6d plus 9, right? Now let's find f of 3, which is equal to 3 square minus 6 into 3 plus 9, equals to 3 square 9 minus 6 d is a 18 plus 9, 9 plus 9, 18 minus 18 equals to 0, since f of 3 equals to 0. So what we'll do? We'll write 1x into 1 by, find the derivative of this. Derivative of d square is 2d minus derivative of 6d is 6 plus derivative of a constant is 0, right? Into e power 3x. What we did now? We just found f dash of d, which is 2d minus 6, 2d minus 6. So we need to find f dash of 3 equals to 2 into 3 minus 6 equals to 2 3 is a 6 minus 6 equals to 0. Since f dash of 3 equals to 0, so what we have to do? We'll write this x into, write one more x into 1 by, find the derivative of this, which is derivative of 2d is 2 minus derivative of 6 is 0 into e power 3x. Okay. Here, since f dash of 3 is equal to 0, so we'll find f double dash of d. Since f dash of d equals to 2d minus 6 from this, we'll get f double dash of d is 2 which is not equals to 0 since f dash of d sorry f double dash of d is not equals to 0 so what we'll do this becomes x square into e power 3x by 2 right we don't have any d here if you have any d we'll again replace or we'll find f double dash of 3 
Tadi So therefore y equals to x square equal to x by 2. Now we can write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Then y equals to yc is c1 plus c2x into e power 3x plus yp x square e power 3x by Which is the required solution. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.